Graffiti of all sizes and styles, especially in an urban environment like New Orleans, can be found on literally any public surface. Oftentimes, you may not even notice the sheer amount of graffiti surrounding us every day. But if you look closely, you may start to notice the walls literally staring back at you. There are several different kinds of graffiti, the simplest of which is a tag. A tag is usually done in simple marker or paint, oftentimes only the writer's alias, or in some cases, a three-letter acronym, which may stand for a crew that the writer belongs to. As tags are the easiest and quickest to put up, this is one of the most visible kinds of graffiti. Here we can see a tag by Berserk, done in what appears to be black ink. Here we can see the tag THC, executed on this door in a rally style, which is used to cover up space by repeating a tag over and over. This narrow alley is teeming with tags. On the left is a large THC tag done in bubble letters, and on the right is a large stylized toe, flanked by the phrase, Toe Thumb Knows All, and this symbol. Just down the wall, several more tags, including Harsh, Berserk, and Merc. Multiple tags on a wall often suggest interaction between riders within the riding community. If one tag is written over top of another, it may be a sign of disrespect and a signifier of beef between the riders. Conflict is a large part of the graffiti culture, and oftentimes that is expressed best through the symbolic interplay of tags within a space. Here we can see this black tag clearly written over top of an older orange tag. This may be a sign of beef between taggers in the New Orleans riding community. Throws are slightly larger works than tags. They are usually done in large block or bubble letters and are typically two colors, an outline color and a filling color. Here we can see a simple throw done by Case in a black outline and a white filling. And here we can see a more complex throw, again by Case. The dripping effect done in the fill between the blue and the pink colors signifies uh, the execution of more technical work with the spray can. Uh, the show of skill is a sign that this is an experienced rider. Here we can see a large throw by Berserk. It's possible that there were multiple contributors on this work, judging by the multiple tags surrounding the throw, written in the same style and colors as the overall work. This throw, done in shades of green and white, is likely a collaboration piece between multiple writers as well. Their tags are embedded within and around the throw. This dates the piece in 2010. Pieces, short for masterpieces, are some of the largest, most ambitious works undertaken by writers. Here we can see what looks like a large hangover piece, which means that the writer likely had to stand on the roof and paint the piece upside down. It also looks like paint rollers were used to make this piece. Here's the same piece with a little perspective on its position on this abandoned building in Uptown. Here are a few more examples of hangover pieces. Don't say no, just say This rider uses a stylized face with the mouth and eyes at the same horizontal level on the head, almost as his definitive signature. This rider, Prey, also uses visual cues to distinguish his or her work, with the upside down cross and X markings upon his work's face linking this throw in downtown to this colorful piece in uptown.
Alright, thanks for watching my presentation on graffiti in New Orleans. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the information in this presentation. Uh, and most of all, I hope you enjoyed the graffiti. Thanks.